Welcome back to more Enshrouded, where we today are gonna go and get the Carpenter, which is the last one that we're missing, and then hopefully we're gonna unlock uh, new armor or new toys, new tools. We have to get new utilities as well, because we're kind of crafting-wise stuck in the moment um, to get to the next uh, tier of resources. Now, I have already unlocked uh, the area where we get some of the new resources, some of the new flowers and the new veg and the new... Um, uh, uh, clay, things like that, like mining resources. So up here I made a little outpost and this is where we get into the new biome, I guess. So there's no distinctive lines between biomes, but before we're going to continue there, we're going to check out everything down here and we're going to complete everything in our current biome to get ready for um, the next biome. And um, yeah, so we have five out of six. Let me see. We have one left. Yeah, okay. So we have everything where it's supposed to be. Also, here is a tomb that we can't enter it's like a big huge tomb right here at the cliffside and uh with doors but you can't enter it because right here is um the red line where you can't go any further so um which is i think it's here something yeah where you can't go any further so um or the border of the game of the game world here so um maybe that's not implemented yet and it will be something someday i'm not really sure so anyway, um, welcome to the stream. Almighty, how are you, JD? What's up, Kicks? What's up with you? I hope you're doing okay, Almighty. I hope you're doing great as well. So let's uh, go and head over here where we saved last. Do we have everything ready to go? Let me see. We have our weapon. Oh, yeah, let's repair it. Let's go. I did some recon... Um, yeah, the base looks a little bit different. So you can see I was messing around with uh, roofs. It was roofing. And uh, so you can see it here. I like the way everything kind of just merges seamlessly together, you know, which is really nice. And I made some more arrows, so I am, I think I'm, I'm ready to go, all right. Oh, dismantle, that was an option. So now once we have the carpenter and we have access to everything, we are going to make proper production areas. So we're going to make at least five of each of those utilities because they take forever to do anything. As you can see here, it oh. takes like, I think, um, well, that's only a minute, but yeah, it's still a minute. So doing like one dried fur, of course, doing five is faster. So um, being able to do things quickly is always more desirable. Um, one of the things I hope they're gonna add soon, and there's actually, uh, they have a suggestion forum which has a high amount of vote, uh, votes been, uh, you know, a high amount of votes. And that is basically to have a sorting chest. Something where you just go either um, that you basically can have a hotkey like Shift R when you're not in a chest and just press it and everything just goes into every chest. And that's it. Yeah, in your vicinity. Or they're going to create like a sort magical sorting chest, um, you know. But to be honest, if the game is so heavy on resources, yeah, rather than you having to worry about where everything is, what I think would be appropriate is maybe to have a big, big magical chest, which has so many slots that you don't need more than two of them to store everything you're ever going to collect. I think that would be just, you know, in the end, the best thing to do. Um, I'm not even talking about the Minecraft style chest in, in modded Minecraft where you basically have like a, a one chest with a terminal and uh, connected, you know, to all the sorting chests. That would be just crazy. But um, it would be nice if they could even make it in a way that you just dump something into a chest. And then when you access a chest, you basically just see all the items that, that, that exist, that you have, all of them. So you see it like a single big chest. But it is actually multiple chests, like, you know, that are just combined into one visible kind of layout. Because this is going to become very painful very quickly when we have a lot of resources where nearly ev where a lot of the individual resources will need their own chest, you know, at least at this stage. I don't know how big they get. I think if we get double the space, then maybe that's an I that's not an issue. I'm not so sure. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. I don't know if that is enough, though. So, some resources will need a lot of space. Like salt, for example. Like you mine, this is a five-minute mining job. You know, so... Yeah, I'm not so sure. That would be nice to see what solution they come up with. And if it's magical, it fits the theme, which is great. 
Um, yeah, these are small ones. So I know there's bigger ones. So that's why I'm not too huffed about it right now. But I read on the forums that people are literally looking for sorting chests at this stage. Because one of the great things people like to do is hoarding things, you know. And um, I'm already getting to the stage now that every time I'm going out and I'm coming back, I have like, say, 15, 16 different items here. Uh, well, not maybe that much, but say I have 10 different type of items in here and I have to go through all my chest and press uh, shift R, shift R, shift R, shift R, because I'm not going to look in my inventory and go, oh yeah, that's exactly what is in my inventory. Like, so I go to this chest. No, I just want to dump it. So, and, um, you know, so we'll see once the chests get bigger, um, how that problem, uh, if that, if it's still a problem or not. And we're also going to pick up these quests now. Um, lost hand spindle. That's right, we need the spindle as well. Um, I could craft better armor for us and increase our chances. I don't know if I like your armor though, because I want to be a warrior. And you have some new crafting. What do you have new? Let me see. Oh, here. Oh, that's the ranger set. Yeah, Maxman said. I'm not gonna be into that. So I hope I'm gonna get a new armor set from our buddy over here. Yeah. Maybe the carpenter is going to give us warrior armor. Like, this is so far the maximum warrior armor that I can get. get and, so. and then she has a couple of quests as well. Oh, what do you have unlocked? Dexterity, vegetable puree. Ooh, okay. Forest beads. Yeah, that's actually also what I unlocked um, by exploring in the new area. That gives us dexterity. Ooh, wow. Four health regen and plus two endurance. Chamomile tea? That is amazing. Okay. I'm absolutely digging that. Oh, we have the different flower pots here. That's pretty cool. So you can... Yeah, that, that's what they added in the last update to make things look pretty. Um, let's see. The world open up you're doing at Flameborn. You're healing the spring lands, but our world is vast. So that is then getting us into the new area. Okay, so that's good. Reclaim the wilderness. Some berries. Uh, you carry some berries with you. I would die for a gorgeous berry bowl right now. Um, yeah, we're going to do all those quests in due time. But first, we're going to have to get the carpenter. And also, we can upgrade that to the next level. But for this, we're going to need... Yeah, the fell whisper and head. I don't know where that is. I know copper ore should be in the new area. Amber should be in the new area. Amber is the next stage of um, sap, I guess. So they all have the next tier of resources now. Uh, stuff used in long-term crafting goes into that station for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll see. There, there's going to have to be a way where I know that certain resources I don't care about too much. So I just dump them all in one big chest and I will just keep making more big chests to dump all that stuff in. But I probably, in the end will just end up with whatever the biggest chest is and I will not make the effort of doing what I'm doing here because it's just not going to be worth the hassle. I'm just going to go dump, dump, dump and I will just create a new chest, a new chest, a new chest and I probably will end up over time with chests going empty from crafting while I keep building more chests and just dump everything in. So it's going to become probably quite messy if, you, if you're really into hoarding things, um, but we'll see. So let me actually take all that stuff out here. Um, do I have anything here? Yes, thank you. And do we have any new recipes here? No. Okay. Warm white luminescent blocks at the workbench. Oh, that sounds actually pretty cool. Bone. Um, do we have any new recipes here? No, that's the... Oh, tar. I actually haven't made any tar yet. Yeah, so let's make 10 of them. See the way 10, 10, making, t do we need 10 of them? How much do we make? Oh, Jesus, no, we don't. So we need 20, 40, 60 maybe. Yeah, but that's 20 minutes. So if we would have five of them or three of them at least, then that would be a lot better. And I think I have, no, that's the critters here. That's not what I was looking for. There you go. So we have this and this goes here. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. 
So that way everything will go always into these slots, which is great. Brilliant. Now, what about wood acid? Where am I going to put wood acid? That's also one that we craft. You see, yeah, we need a bigger chest, like, so we can put the wood acid in then. And, ah, uh, screw it. We're just going to put it in here now. I couldn't be arsed. <laughs> I like organized chests. I play too much, I play too much modern Minecraft. Um, and then we have this here, which goes in here. Except for the dirt, which goes into the chest this here. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, now... Oh, was there something in there that shouldn't be in there? Tar. I spotted it. Tar will go in here as well. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's take one big food. And we need some more healing potions, actually. Do I have them up there? Yeah. Okay. Running low on healing potions. Um, can we craft some more? Healing channel, chain heal. Warm, white, glowing substance. Oh, that's... Okay, fair enough. That's new. Health potions, here we go. We could make 10. Yeah, let's make 10. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, let's go. Organization is key. Yeah, I, I love games like this because I can get completely lost in organizing my inventory for ages, but it doesn't work well. It's And this is where I think modern Minecraft really hit, you know, all the buttons because of the way they have their, their chests, you know, that you can build like a terminal. And then in the end, you no longer need the physical item really stored because all you do is have a number beside an image and that's how much you have. So uh, I think that would really increase performance as well. Imagine you don't see any more individual slots, but you just see a list of items that you have and a number beside it. And only when you decide to take something out of the chest, it becomes an item, yeah? So, which means you would have a lot of saving in performance because you don't physically have to store the item and all its properties. You literally just have a number and then it only becomes an item with all its properties when you take it out, which usually is only a little bit at a time, you know, because you don't take out like 50,000 cloth or something, you know. Anyway, I just, uh, I, I like the way they've done it. Ah, crap. It's very interesting. And we have to go here. Now, I have to be careful because this is where the shroud is that will still kill us. But I think we have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to go across here. That's that's what that's what it is. Yeah. So we're not actually going through the shroud. Also, skill points. I took the point out of merciless attack again because I just never seen me really using it or doing it so uh, the amount of times i fought mobs even the stronger ones that i actually ended up um stunning for that to become an executable skill was just not as much so oh i missed everything oh look at that that's what you guys were talking about the double jump uh, the the jump attack being kind of um, negated when you get too close to one of the wolves. Um, okay. I know we said we go to the carpenter, which we're gonna do, but you're gonna have to check out the. Uh, 
We also need a better weapon soon. We need a level 9 or 10 base weapon that is level 9 or 10 before it's upgraded. Oh, yes. What is that? Oh, dried berries. Don't care too much about that. We have a lot of resources now, so we don't really... Uh, the only thing I always pick up is water as well. Water is always very helpful. And fur patches and these type of items. Yeah. Oh, what is down here? Shit. That is dark. Can we, like, make a light that's connected to our trousers or something at some point where we don't have to carry around this? And then basically use it as a weapon or it gets pitch black? Okay, fair enough. I'm actually not going to need... Um, Okay, so at least we explored it. Um, is there anything else? Well, there's an upstairs, and there is uh, no more no understairs. Sometimes there is. Okay, let's go. Hang on, we have to go through here. Yeah, let's go. That's where we have to go in. And this is where we're gonna resurrect now if we're dead. Oh, before we go in there though. Oh, this is supposed to add more time. We have nine minutes already. Oh, maybe I had an active potion already. That could well be. Okay, they do hit like trucks. They're only level 7 though, but these, these specific mobs actually hit really hard. Okay, let's just go in. Oh yeah, 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 this is completely enshrouded. have to be careful and then we have the ooh chest okay ha! 
very lucky that we just got back, uh, switched back out of the screen. Damn it, you can't hit them. Was good yeah these guys are no matter how low level are they're tough and i i really don't like that there's certain mobs that you need ranged weapons for there and and that is not against this game i just think in general if you want to play a warrior that goes close up and personal you should always have the option or the ability somehow to fight a mob that way if it means they're going to give you a skill that allows you to pull close an enemy like what what warriors do a lot i mean look at world of warcraft yeah they have these skills where they can pull people in yeah so if i'm a melee class i should be able to have that ability but by forcing me into a ranged kind of weaponry with some mobs that theoretically imply you should always put some points into ranged damage but i don't want that yeah so um another thing uh, that somebody was mentioning which makes sense they should probably have another ranged weapon like a shuriken or something or a ninja star, whatever you want to call it, something throwable that is an assassin's weapon, seeing that you have an assassin's class, and uh, also give us dual daggers. That definitely has to be a thing as well. So I do think they have to kind of look at that at some point, but it's not important. There's a lot of other things they can they focus on at the moment, you know, but... That's just as an example, like, you know, what I think would be nice to see. Ethereal, oh, how are you? I hope you had a good birthday. Like you see in Dragon's Dogma 2, you have the assassin that does that chain and pulls the enemy close. That is awesome. I love that so much. So let's see, we're gonna have um, two points. We can go into here, strength increase. And strength is always good, pure power basically. Constitution actually would be really handy. So if we go with strength and then constitution, I think that would be really, really good. Ooh, meat now increases health by an additional 15, but that's three points. So having one point here for strength and then maybe having, uh, what do you think? One point in constitution, I think, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So our health should now be over 400, preferably. 500, 433, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Chocolate cake, awesome. Chocolate cake always wins. Oh, nice, I love it. Of course, now we have to dig our way through here, so we're going to use that.
Okay, why, why? I hit, I hit my ranged button. Genie Mark, you gave me a heart attack there. Oh yes, there he is. Beautiful. That's it. So, ooh, what is this? Shit, I don't remember this. Oh yeah, holy crap. Uh, okay, is that how? Oh, is that how we get back out? Fine, take it and throw it away. Um, yes. Okay, so we have to go back out here. Excellent. Yes, that's the exit. Beautiful. Nice. Ooh, look at that. I love nighttime. Let's see if we can get some experience. Look at all those shrouds or shrouds shroud spores, nice. The great thing about nighttime is that you can see where there's actual spores and stuff, like the, the red spores when there's like a mini boss somewhere. And you can see things like that that I never would have seen during the day. Oh, that's just stone. Yeah, there's the wall, I think, so... Um... Oh, that is some scary sounding... Whoa. Yeah, they really nailed the atmosphere. Oh, they can walk across, okay. Is that something we can mine? No. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Something like that is always handy because it gives us uh, skill points. Oh shit, I didn't even see them. Somebody's growling. Ow, where did you come from? Oh.
Okay, that's actually awesome. I didn't know that so far into the shroud we get one of those um, things to fight. And while we're here, we might as well get some of that. Mycelium. So another thing that I want to start doing is um, I want to start putting points into miner um, here and this here so that we can when we get to the copper area that we get a lot more resources back basically. Okay, where are we actually? So yeah, we are very far down here. So this this is where the wall is and this is where the village is. Carpentry camp. Okay. Oh, there was a flame sanctum. I never... Hang on. Was that not... Did we get the flame spark there? I don't think we did. Let's head back there and get the spark. The screech is so creepy, yeah. The growling, it's just my stomach, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need... Um... There was a bed upstairs here, wasn't there? Oh. A repair bench? Oh, I thought it was a repair bench. Where's the stairs? There. See, here we have the two beds, so all we need really is a fire. Ugh, we can't make a campfire. What are we missing? Wood logs? Okay. I actually had a fire already on me. Nice. There we go. Look at that. We're going to get a comfort level of 11. That is awesome. It's not as good as home, but hey, this is pretty sweet. Um... I think the wolves just respond. Nothing like one thick furs and campfires. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's not like the fur goes, it can be set on fire. Yeah, we sadly can't steal those furs of the beds, Jen. Uh, we can only sleep in those beds. Yeah, I see, I can only sleep, I can't take the fur. Okay, let's get out of here. Look at that stamina circle. Boom, it's nearly full. The second round is nearly full. 
Oh, actually, what will help us? Oh, I don't have any honey. Yeah. So where is that? Okay, this is where that is. So if we go around here. So this is how we get into here, but... Oh, that's probably on the other side, is it? Is there an exit over here? see yeah we can get out of the shroud here So I have to go behind this area. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. What is that tower? Oh, is that another... Oh, we should check this out. That tower is another jumping tower that will be a fast travel point. We definitely have to check that out. Okay, let's do this first. Because that would be pretty cool if we can get another big tower here. level is that still the same starter biome where they're level five? Oh, that's where the eternal spell is in oh cool i didn't realize that's how we get there might as well when we're here why not Ancient Spire. Nice. It is a spire. That is so cool. Let's go up to the top. Yeah, the floating witch ladies choking skulls is us. They were in the original game, but I think there's more of them now. What do you mean the original game? That, that is the first game in Shrouded. Oh, you're talking about a different game. Health regen, that's not bad. So I can have two health regen. That's the second one now. I actually changed my current rings to stamina and stamina regen because of us constantly having issues with stamina. So I hope we're going to get some really amazing uh, stamina rings at some point. Yeah, I know the big vases they have, but we have so much loot at home. I, I really don't need any extra loot right now. I have metal, I have steel, I have like whatever, the, the, the scrap, the metal, I I even metal plates. I just built five furnaces and just built them because like even like going to places like this here, uh, this Hills of Scavengers, I, I come out with 50, 60 metal if I do the full run. Yeah. And obviously if you go to other areas, it will even be better. So, oh, this is not on. Okay. So, right now, I just want to unlock this 
and go from there. Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought. Oh, you bastards! I thought they were all in unicism. Yeah, spiky things. Yeah, Sunken has been uh, knocking out a lot of updates. I bought loads of games and been mainly jumping between AOE 4 and 7 Days Today. How do you like AOE 4, Age of Empires uh, 4? Is that is that another remake? Uh, Age of Empires, I don't I forgot. Was that an original release with a remake now? Or uh, is that the, a new version? over there though oh there's nothing there okay and it's over there though You see, this would be nice, instead of an, an arrow, uh, like I said, to have like a warrior kind of way. And they should probably do it as well, that they have some weapons that you just can't use. Yeah, like say for example, like having um, certain weapons at a certain level means you want to have specialized in certain areas. So there should be weapons that unless you have that many points in strength you cannot use that weapon unless you have that many points of dexterity you just cannot use the better bow yeah and that would be amazing because right now it's kind of like very simplistic implemented yeah you can just use any weapon at any time which is nice in the beginning but i think as you get higher level and you want to specialize in the class and make your class actually be unique to you and not just everybody switch to the fire mage or, or acid mage and just kill everything in one shot you know, make it so that there's a payoff investing into these trees, you know, if you know what I mean. That would, that would be really nice. Oof, okay. Uh, okay, I, I, I nearly didn't see you. Um. Yeah, I haven't played Age of Empires since... Uh, oh, wow. I'm not using a staff, but I'm gonna keep that one in my box if I ever want to mess around with magic. That is a good staff. Nice. That is definitely for keeps.
Okay, so where to next? Oh, the doors should have opened down there now, didn't they? Oh, yeah, there. Is that it? Oh, no, that's where we came from. I think. No, we didn't. I'm, I'm so lost. If that gets us up, then that's great. Yeah, cool. Oh, no, we were here. Yeah, that was, we went back down. This, this is the door, yeah, I went to the wrong one. The AI still builds super fast. Yeah, I always found that very frustrating in these AI games because I'm not very good at these games, but I love playing them. Oh, nice. We actually got a quest as well. Low meadows are trenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Fight back the shroud and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. Boundless wilds of untold beauty lie hidden under Okay. Okay. Awesome. So we now have this tower, which means we can go very easily here. So that's a fast travel point now. So when we get to, the, to do the eternal spell, we can very easily do it. That's awesome. That's actually really good. And look how much shroud now is... It, did the shroud disappear? There was there was more shroud here before. Was there? Oh, no. This is the shroud bridge here that is such a pain in, in the ass. Um, let's see if we can get across there. Oh, there's even a bridge. Nice. There's a bridge going right across. So, oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah, they, oh, look, they, they, here's that bridge going across this big chasm of pain in the ass, red river. So what level are we talking about with these guys now? Nine, that's okay. So this is only level nine. I forgot to go to and equip a weapon. Always equip a weapon. That is that is a good thing. The VUCA. Is there a repair thing? Ah, oh, nope, but there's fur. Wolves, nice wolf meat. With one point, yeah. Let's do that. More strength, more power. So the power is only shown in percentage here. So it says here melee damage 32%. 32% of what? So does that mean. Is it really that simple that if I have a weapon that does. Oh, okay. Ugh. If I have a weapon that says 29 damage. 37% is 39.73. So does that mean we do 39 damage when we hit something? Is, is that how it works? We have to find something to hit. Oh, 
Oh shit. Bye bye. Sorry. Like, we do 49 damage here with this, yeah? With those arrows. So that means our bow does fifth... Oh, there we go. Look at his health bar, holy crap. Wow, that's a legendary head. That is crazy. Oh, if you could have climbed these guys, that would have been amazing. And oh, here we get a buff, a blessing. It's the, the Vukar. I actually, what does it do? It gives us more strength or something or health. I, yeah, it gives us 20 health or something and more strength. Actually, 52% damage now. Uh, range damage is actually only at 15 percent yeah so i don't know exactly i would love to see some mats uh, uh, i would love to see them add the mats that calculates the math that calculates these damages into that pop-up show us how this is calculated so that we can actually say oh okay so i mean there's not a lot of diversity in stats here but that we can say okay i can put one two more points in here and you know that should be enough then Oh. What? Are you kidding? How is it still alive? Was it healing up? That would have been pretty sweet. So let's see, what is that actually? Status details. Um, yeah, plus 25 health and plus 20% melee damage. Very nice. So is there anything else here? Okay. 
We still have to get to that waypoint. <laughs> we still have to get that uh, thing. So this boss was actually awesome because I love bosses like that because they're easy if you avoid everything, but they hit like a truck when they get you. I love this. Might as well get the honey. Oh, it's up there on top, so we might have to jump across from here. Okay. Oh, I can see it. How are we going to get across there, though? That, that is a good question. Oh yeah, we can go across there. Okay, I see it. It's actually right there behind us. They have animated trophy heads, nice. Yeah, now that we have the carpenter, we might actually do some trophies on the outside of the of the house if we can do that. <laughs> Only comfort level two. Level two. Wow, killed by tree. Just a flint mine. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's go home. So we have this, we did this. Now we can go here and reach this area. So this is really good. So I think we can get rid of this, of this one here because we can reach everything now kind of from here. Yeah, so I think we can remove this fast travel point. Unrelated question, uh, Games for Kids, but what was your first online game uh, and what game got you hooked on gaming? Um, I don't know what game got me hooked on gaming really because I always enjoyed playing games from the old days where you had the little telegames, whatever you call them, you know, the ones with the before Game Boy even, that you all folded up and they had the black ink kind of gameplay of Donkey Kong and all that. Um, I played the Atari, the C64. I always was into games. I don't think there was a particular game which, which I enjoyed. I, I think I always liked the idea of not having to deal with things around me and playing games instead. So that was always, um, I suppose, what appealed to me. Um, but what was the first online game? I think the first online game I played was Halo. 
Yeah, I remember in Halo, I, I started playing the multiplayer. And um, that was amazing. Just, you know, all the hacks and cheats. Everybody just was always in one part of the mountains, killing everybody. And it, it was just great. It was great fun. <laughs> and then after that, it was World of Warcraft pretty much so yeah i got into online games only when um really halo came out i think the original halo which was when when was that in 2001 yeah so and then i played the the world of warcraft um world of warcraft came out in 2004 and i played it i think for about an hour or so when it came out and I was like, okay, uh, this is boring, yeah? But then when the Burning Crusade came out, I remember um, that was in 2007, so three years later then, um, when the Burning Crusade came out, I created a hunter and that was it, I was hooked. That, that was it. Um, I, th I think World of Warcraft, if I never would have played World of Warcraft, I don't know if I ever would have. Yeah, so if you, if you have to make a decision on what game got me hooked on gaming, probably World of Warcraft. But um, I always played games, like so, uh, in general. But I think what got me into wanting to every day come home and, you know, do the things I have to do and then play games is World of Warcraft, probably. That, that's, that got me addicted to the whole thing. Yeah, I never, I never even knew about RuneScape until uh, m like only about maybe ten years ago, f five years ago, something like that. Yeah, between five and ten years ago, maybe that's when I first heard of RuneScape. Um. I never played it. Um. EverQuest. Oh, EverQuest. I never played this myself. I don't think I played ult I played Ultima at some point, but there was um, Ultima 1 and 2. I don't think they were online games. Um, I played Ultima at, uh, at the time. I remember the old text-based games on the uh, Atari, sorry, on the Amiga and all that. They were kind of the RPG games. Yeah. Yeah, World of Warcraft, exactly, yeah. Anyway, so let's summon our carpenter. We're going to have to do some, some base building today, okay? Because I need space. I need to make a room for each of my... Maybe I'm making a... Actually, you know what? I leave the center room here for all my NPCs. They all can stay here in a circle, worshipping the light. And um, I'm going to make myself a bedroom here, through here. And I'm going to make... Um, some dedicated rooms for certain crafts like there has to be a room with just these things in it you know welcome oh he's he wants us to descend into the hollow halls now Ooh, okay let's not take those quests yet we have still a few quests that we have to complete Never let the cold start. oh yeah um she has no new crafts. So now this is what I mean. I come back home and look at all these different items. Yeah. Well, this is going to be salvaged. Uh, a vaporous staff. That's going to be salvaged. Yeah. This one, pretty awesome. We can fully upgrade that. Uh, weapons. Where do I have my weapons? Here. Yeah. So that staff can go here, actually. And the rings. Go here. I have some rings in here, actually, for some reason. I suppose. Um, yeah, we need a separate... We need bigger chests. Okay, let me just um, get the carpenter out, and then we probably can make larger chests. Um, where's the carpenter? First repair, repair. Let's, yeah, we have to put things away. Sorry. So this is what I mean. I have to go into every box now because I don't know if I have any of what I, what is in the box or not. And do all that, you know, just in case. Uh, 
And now this could be an issue because this box is full. So I don't know if there's anything here that could fit in there. So what I'm going to have to do next now is um, actually take the chamomile out and the flowers and the indigo. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I see there was more fur here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to start moving certain things. Um, man, I don't even know how to start. This is going to be so annoying. <sighs> okay. Um, we have a lot of room here, so why don't we... Um, put the flowers in here for now. God knows what the logic is if I'm ever going to find them again. There we go. We're going to put the head in here as well. Yeah, we can actually fight him a few times to, to see what, what if he drops any special weapons. Um, yeah, we have to do some reloads and build a base near there and... Um, Oh, we got some new crafting recipes here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Beet seeds, berry bush, flax seeds. Yeah. Uh, these guys are not connected to the magic chests. Um, I don't know if the seed beds were forgotten or if they had issues with that, but we can't... Uh, you can see we can't connect to the magic chests with them. The seed beds are still not working with magic chests. Oh, they are. Sorry. That was the recipes. I'm an idiot. They are working. My, my mistake. Sorry. I was looking at the wrong. Oh, tomato seedlings. That's what we didn't check out. Okay. What else do I have left in my inventory? Um, here's the food chest. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we need higher stacks than 20. They're gonna have to give us 999 stacks, like at this stage. Like this is this is really not good enough. Um and I think we have the weapons, the arrows here. No, where did I put the arrows? Here, yeah. <sighs> There's the healing ring, and this is a healing ring. There we go. And potions go up here. And then we have to cook the meat. Hey, we're finally sorted. Uh, my troll shaman in queue, I made her so ugly, but named her I feel pretty. Oh, that that is actually very cute. It's like I love I love who I am. I love everything about me. <laughs> okay. Oh, hang on. How did you get in there, my friend? Oh yeah, of course, healing. Um It makes sense to me. Let's get the carpenter. And where are we going to put you? Um, well, suppose we can put you here in front of the table. Um, like here. Let's put you here. Okay, so let's see. You have a kiln. That's great. The glider. Awesome. So the glider is going to help a hell of a lot. Uh, for that, we need linen, which I don't know how to get yet. Improved crabbling hook. Awesome. For that, we need a crabbling hook. We can actually do this right now, this very second. Um, unequip. I saw through everything. Because we actually had a quest for that. Um, One walk at a time. There we go. 30 stamina cost. Requires less stamina. Can be activated at a larger range. Awesome. There we go. Um, I got my eye what about the glider? Head. Yeah, I have... Actually, I have shroud sacks, but only two. Do you know where I got the shroud sacks from? I got the shroud sacks from the north area where we got into the new biome. Comfort. Oh, nice. 
So we already have a bed, tables, we already put a table down, fireplace, we put a fireplace down, but the comfort level is here much higher. That's awesome. Um, benches, we already have that. Bathroom. Oh, wow. Now, I'm assuming they're not going to give individual comforts. If we put this one down, we get plus two. But if we put this one down, we're not going to get an extra plus two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sink here. And because I don't have room for bath. And illumination. Yes, finally. Oh, that is so awesome. Candles. Let me see. If standing lamps. Oh, I need more fireflies. Excellent. Here we go. We don't need fireflies for that. Um, but it would be nice to have like a, a, a hanging, a hanging one. Where, candles, candles, candles. How do we do candles? How do we do candles? We have to figure out how to do candles. Oh, this is sweet. I love it. We need more nails. Okay. Oh, we can make a loft now with a ladder going up. That is pretty good. I hope they are usable ladders. We have to check that out. Anything else? Hey! Yes, nice. Oh, that is awesome. I'm loving this. Let's leave it here for now. It's fine. Um, we have our sink. And we can wash our little face. Oh, Jesus. That is a humongous sink. Oh, it's actually not that big. Okay, look at that. Our comfort level is now 15. Nice. Inventory is so tiny at first. Yeah, so now I want more. I want bigger storage. Equipment lost. I used to have a chest with salvage salvageable material, but it got swiped. I'm telling you, someone took it while I was sleeping in the damn pot. Ask around. Oh, yeah, the carpenter took it or something. I remember us doing that last time. Um, Scrappy rake. That's an upgrade to the normal rake. You see, the normal rake is in my chest, but I can't see that. So, scrappy pickaxe, we already have that. Felling axe is a scrappy axe. So, we need iron tools next, I think. Looking good. And we might as well craft this straight away. Oh, it's not in a magical chest. That's why. Um, there. Let's get this. What did I just do? Or just eat. I press two. Oh, okay. There we go. Anything else? Okay. Do you have any new recipes? No. You don't have any new recipes? No. So what are the, what's the story with storage? Did we unlock any more storage <laughs> recipes now? We got, let's see, what is new? Okay. Yeah, that was the only new thing, the roof tile blocks. Equipment lost, you see? Told you he took it. Oh crap, I thought we activated it. Oh. An equipment chest, keep it down, will you? Yes, yes, I borrowed it. Wanted to finish some old projects, you know. But if you tell Oswald, I might lose me my other hand. I tell you where to find it if you keep it quiet, alright? Alright, okay. Thank you. Carpenters, the Voca. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's get all the quests. Who cares? 
flame bond. You've got a spark. We have shared passion, don't we? Architecture, art, crave robbery. I mean, preserving forgotten beauty. I love this. It's rumored that our queen was buried, although none know where alongside of curious. We just check whatever is closest to us. Okay? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the VUCA building died on. Okay. Bridge construction. Okay. We're, I'm so overwhelmed with quests right now, but we're just going to look whatever is close to us. Carpenter's rescued. Another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition. It, indeed. Yes, the mortar. My trusty mortar is lost. Perfect. Descend into hollow halls. <laughs> yeah. You see, we're supposed to be doing that at level 10, hollow halls. But I need weapons. My weapons are not level 10 weapons. Okay, you have nothing to add. Okay, what do you have now? Oh, beware of the hollows. The alchemist tasks you enter into the hollow halls. Beware of the hollow inside. These thieves conspired to claim part of the flame and were cursed by the ancient upon for as punishment to never feel the warmth of another. I almost pity them. Glad to help. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to get ourselves decked out with some good buffs. Well, look who's back. So the ghastly catacombs that house the hollows are real. My aunt a Ellen used to tell stories, but well, you know her, always a tale teller. If old Balthasar has seen them himself, then it's true. Oh, think of the materials, the architecture, the treasures. I wish my little legs could take me there too. Okay. My pleasure. Do you have anything new? Yes, you do. Okay, what is what is new for you? We have the same oh, special arrows. Flint, resin, and what is so special about them? Oh, <laughs> it's actually pretty clever. They don't do any damage, though. Okay, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So you have something that we can shoot arrows into the walls, I guess, along 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 the way. That's a that's a nice idea, actually. Um, fur patches, animal fur, resin torch. There's no, there's something else new here. Let me see. Decorations, wall decorations. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we need wooden planks, so we need to get everybody their tools, so we can actually uh, improve. Um... Okay, we have to get everybody's tools, so let's see, where's all the quests here? Um, the Eternal Spell, we don't care. Hollow Halls, go to the journal, there's an actual quest, explore the Hollow Halls, we're not going to do this right now. Hunter Spindle, so we need the spindle. And we need the mortar. So let's see where the mortar is. Okay, mortar is right here. That's not bad. I have my point here. That's actually really good. Reclaim the wilderness carpentry camp. And we have to go to the hunting crowns as well. And then we have some quests here. The spindle and what is this? Okay. Okay, the spindle, the mortar, and then what else do we have? Another ancient spire in Revelwood. Where is that? Oh, that is great. So if we do that first, well, we don't have to do it first, uh, but here we have a home here, which is great. So we can do these things here nearby. And where is the other thing? The chest of the... There. Where is that? Oh, it's all up here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go. There's actually some side quests here we have to do as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. We head over here and do these quests here first. Eternal spell we ignore for now. We don't need that. Um, that's only for if you're a mage because you get your first eternal spell for that. Um, so let's go here. Yeah. Okay. So are we ready? Do we have everything we need? Um, we have healing. We have food. We have comfort. We should probably put some berries in here. Can we do berry bushes? Berries? Berries? Berry bush seedlings. Yes. <gasps> Yes. Okay. Um. Go.
good. And that way we can put the bushes, the bushes uh, outside. We're gonna have to make some farmland here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put farmland down away from here, pretty much here on the edges, because I um, want to make my crafting rooms here on the house. So we might do a little bit of a hallway and then go into a big room. And we might build a massive room here that goes all the way here across. And then we put all our crafting machines in this massive room. Like we have like five of each machine, but they're all going to be in a single big room. I think that would be awesome. And that room could go in an L shape all the way around here. Um, up to about the middle here and then yeah from around here to around here something like that that would be awesome yeah big plants big plants This is so far in the ground. It's like, whatever. Um, okay. Um, we need some more arrows as well. Um, 11 damage, yeah. Uh, let's get another 100. 300 arrows later. should be enough. And that goes here. No, wrong chest. Here. Here we go. This one here. And once we have this done, then we can delete this uh, travel fast travel point as well, I think. You got me playing No Man's Sky on Xbox. Flying so flying is so bad. Well done. Oh, you have to. There, there's some changes you can do to the control, Stuart. I didn't like if you only got the game now. Yeah. The initial flying is, is tether flying from what I what I remember, if I remember correctly, which is a pain in the ass. I don't like it. Yeah. Which basically means tether flying is where if you point into a direction, you have to point more and more and more and your ship goes slowly, slowly and follows that. So look at the settings. If you don't like the way that the ship behaves, there is some flight control changes you can make where you can turn it from tether to wherever your mouse points, you know. So, I mean, maybe you prefer Tether and you have the opposite issue, but um, have a look at some of the settings. You can definitely change um, flying uh, to, to the way you like it. And I would definitely change also the sensitivity for flying. I, I keep forgetting that because I find it so slow to turn with a, with a ship when I'm in, in the cockpit. Um, it's just terrible. So, but that's just me being slow. So we're going to go here first, set a wave point. Yeah. And there. Yeah, but I think the default uh, control is tether tether control, which I don't. I'm not a fan of. Always pick up honey and always kill wolves. That raw wolf meat is always appreciated. Okay, we're gonna go into the shroud here, I think. Unless I can get closer to the target first. Oh, nice. 
So the next points I'm getting, I'm going to start putting into here because we're going to have to start mining resources and get more out of it. I think we have enough strength. We just need better weapons now. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, we're only at seven minutes. Okay, hang on. Let me fix that. So, discover the Shroud Obelisk. Oh, shit. Careful, there's red stuff. Ooh! Oh, it's level 5. God damn it. Um, actually, that could be better than what we have, because I think this one started off as level 3, 4, let me see... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this was level three. So this is going to be, f I think they go up one level each time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is going to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's going to hopefully be way more damage. Okay, so yeah, four parry power, six. Oh, this is six parry power in the end. Yeah, so that could be ending up a better weapon than this. Yeah. Let's be careful here. about stories it's awesome they exist though um roy how are you nice to see you ah oh, <laughs> no uh, nearly nearly Oh, okay, there was actually stairs. Okay, that's I didn't see that. Nice. Out of the shroud. Let's refresh everything. Um, oh, it's on Game Pass. Um, oh, Xbox has not changed settings. On Game Pass, it should be the same game, though. And, oh, unless the Game Pass version is... No, it still should have the same settings, though. Oh, we have to go up there. How do we get up there? Discover the Shroud Obelisk. Oof. Oh, yeah, we have to go all the way around. I remember having huge issues getting there. That's right. Actually, let's see if we can kind of cheat our way into that. Yeah, 
we should be able to. Good. So now what we're going to do is... Um, go that's how we roll um no idea about it, so finally it will be uh, quiet <laughs> Nothing else here. Oh, we don't need the campfire. That was just a silly pickup. Um, okay, let's go and do the obelisk. That's the second one we found. Unforeseen humanity is ephemeral. Uh, ephemer ephemeral. Nothing but a brief moment in time, a breath long taken, the blink of an eye, yet despite their normal nature, they have created fire, a flame of their own to brighten the impending dawn. Okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do that yet because. Oof, uh, well, we could fly across there and do that. Um, but let's go here first. A southern caravan. Oh, that's a piece of lore. Well, we might as well discover the place, I guess. Um, oh, there's a new recipe as well. Oh, flower pots in the kiln, yeah. Fire brick. I wonder if this is safe. There's a bridge across. There's a big ass tower over there. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come back here later. Um, let's uh, put a camp here and then delete the other camp. So we have some stone, so let's make a flame altar, craft, um, put it here. And now we can get rid of this one here. And then we come back another time for that. Um, excellent. Okay, so... Oh, what is that? We might as well quickly check that out if we can. No idea what these question mark uh, things are. God damn it. Oof, it's uh it's not in the shroud, is it? Oh it is. Okay. It's in the shroud, I guess. I 
heard it growl. Okay, I guess. Um, as long as there's no red shroud, I don't mind. Oh, it's there. Hmm. How do we get there? That is so weird. Yeah, I walked through here before. Um... Get up here somehow. There we go. Nice. So, how do we get there? Yeah, again, leave it for another day. I have no idea how to get there right now. It could be that there's a tunnel somewhere where we go in, but it looks like it's kind of around here, and then there's a little gap. You could see a little plateau, and it's right there. So it could be that we have to kind of jump around to and then glide into it or something. I have no clue. So um, for now, though, let's just drop everything off, and then we're going to head north um, to do the actual quest now to get the items. And um, first steps at home, I was running for two hours in No Man's Sky. I might auto run tomorrow. I was running for two hours in No Man's Sky. I might auto run tomorrow. Okay, I don't know what that means, but. And there we go. Definitely need a better sorting system. Let's upgrade that. Um, yeah, there you go. That's level 10 now. This one is level 8, so that is brilliant. It's exactly the same one, it's identical, so what we can do is we can scrap that. And keep that one. Hey Biggles, how are you? I hope you're doing fine. That's it, I think we're done. So let me just put all that stuff in there. Excellent.
Okay. That's good. Let's go. Let's repair everything first. Sorry. Repair. And it's night time nearly, isn't it? Um, yeah, let me just do a quick day change. Yeah, so rather than waiting for night and wasting our buffs and um, wait and then going in the next morning, we just re-log in. Our buffs are still active and um, we have morning. So it's easier and quicker that way. Okay, so we have um, this guy here, which can deal with all that. And now we're going to go up here. So Alchemist Mortar. Let's make that. That's the current quest. Oh, controls. Um, and let's go here. What do you push to put items in the chest? It's It says it on the screen. Uh, it's Shift R. So it's uh, Shift R is to move everything that is matching from your inventory into the chest if there's a match. And if you just press R, it just dumps everything in and uh, they are default controls. Um, so you can see it here. Uh, contextual action E, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Shift R. I don't know if it's, it should be showing up here somewhere. Um, no, it doesn't show up here. Oh, okay. So maybe you can't rebind them. It seems that you can't. Um, yeah. But yeah, so R and Shift R, and to get back, it's F and Shift F, and um, yeah, that's it, I think, yeah. No, this is still early access, yeah, but it's it's a, th this is a game that does early access right, where you actually, what you can play feels complete, as in, sure, you might find some things where there's a lack of quality of life, or you, you might even find a bug, absolutely, nobody says it doesn't exist. But you you start playing the game and you get to a certain point and up to that point it feels like you're actually playing a, a fleshed out game. So um, I think they've done really well so far. So here's some clay. If we need some clay. And um, this is the indigo plants as well. So we can come back here for farming. These plants, um, was it these ones that dropped that item that I need? Hang on and let me see the crafting screen. Yeah, workshop. Not the is it the carpenter or the alchemist, the hunter? I think it was the hunter. No, 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 no. It was um, the carpenter. Glider. Yes, shroud sack. So either it was these guys here. Poison sack, yeah. So these ones have the poison sack, and the shroud sack is. Um, they're the same flowers, but they're in the shroud. And here we have some flax. We have plenty of beads. We can actually grow them ourselves now as well. I don't know if I ever picked up enough flux, so we might pick up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I see. Jesus, there's three of those flowers. Um, so where we need to go now is... Oof. We need to go into the shrine. Actually, do you know what? Where we're going to go is... We're going to go the cheeky way around, I think. If we can. Um, it's up the hill here. We have to get up that hill. Can we get up there?
Great. Oh, no. I did a bad thing. Oh, might work this way. No, it doesn't work. Damn it. Yeah, we have no stamina. Um... Oh, we have to come all the way around here. Yeah, we, we have to go through the shroud, which is a pain in the ass. Um, uh, Alpha 22 is out soon. What do you think about the new gaming coming out? Blood? I have not looked at any changes. I have not followed anything about Seven Days to Die. I think I'm getting to the point where if they're not releasing as a finished game, I, I'm not sure if I'm even interested. So I know they're making changes to things, and if the if the bandits are in, if the bandit system is in, I might have another look. But the game is no different, really, for the most part. Um, every time they release an alpha, it's this it's still exactly the same game. The only thing that changes is that they move uh, loot from fixed to random gen to fixed back to random gen. They they constantly shift around uh, how they do the looting system, and that's a bit of fun. But after that, you're just basically playing exactly the same game as before. And most of the time, Blood Moon is something I'm ignoring anyway because um, the zombies being so smart, it's it, it, it. I lost a little bit of um, interest in the Horde Knight because it's just not fun. I prefer the roaming horde knights uh, or the random hordes that uh, Darkness Falls has. That's much more interesting. But um, because the the zombies being so smart, you always end up building the same exact base. Basically, you, you, you like everybody just builds pretty much the same base with the same logic. So, um, yeah, but I have a look at the changes and see. Maybe they did something really amazing. I have no idea. But I'm very interested to see when the game is finished what is, what's going to happen. Oh, okay. So this is how we're supposed to be able to get in. Okay, I get it. This is the lone thistle. We have to go this way. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna get to level 11 soon, so I'm not too worried. But it's good that we're in the level 11 area, which means if we find weapons here, they're hopefully are gonna be level 9 and 10. And then if we get a legendary, that would be great. Oh, we have to go up there? Okay. What weapon level is that? Level 11, nice! See, this alone is nearly as strong as my upgraded one, which is awesome. But, um, let me see, this is a feathered mace. Is that a single hunt mace? Because that could be stronger than that of upgraded. Uh, let's see, we keep it. What is that, copper? What is that? Oh, it's clay. No, it's Amber. Oh my god, I thought Amber was from the trees. That is so cool.
Oh, Blood Moon is a new game. Oh, sorry. Is that that one with the Asian uh, uh, zombie uh, kind of killing thing? Because uh, if, that, if, if, that, if that was it, Kingdom of Moon, of Blood Moon or something like that. And that, that was kind of weird because the demo was literally just a CGI thing. That was just really weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a look. Blood Moon. Let me see. Uh, Blood Moon. Oh, okay, I see it here. What Blood Moon? That's 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 uh, a an a text-based game. Oh yeah, if that's the one you mean, that I'm not into the text games, but I used to play them back in the days. The wrong keyboard. You have two keyboards. Um. Yeah, Alpha 16 is still, for me, was my favorite time in Seven Days to Die. I think Alpha 16 was nearly perfect. They had rotating dogs and rotating zombies sometimes, and if they would have fixed that, it, w it was nearly perfect, I think. Yeah, there is a game called Blood Moon. Oh shit! Which uh, seems to be a text-based game, uh, but that's not the one you're talking about, I think. Search the Alchemist Tower. Um, in the shroud. I think we have to go into the basement. Yeah, I remember this now. We have to go into the basement for that. It's just lower, okay. Oh, what is that? Prayer of the Flame Scroll. I have never seen that before. That type of item offers a small prayer to the flame that increases your magic damage and the maximum time in the shroud for a short duration. That is insane. That is very good for mages, I guess. Yeah. Oh, seven days blood moons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a 4v1. Oh, that's the new game by the Fun Pimps. Oh, they're making a, um, a 4v1. Huh? Oh, I have to put that on my wish list. Yeah, see, early access again. Yeah, well, it's not like they ever can finish a game. But it's using the same models. Okay, so they're doing... What is this? Is a 4v1 fight to the death? Survivors fortify bases and scavenge for materials in their plight against the relentless horde. That is such a weird entry. I wonder if this is based on, um, you know, the way they had the Twitch integration, where basically people that are fewers are the one that make um, the hordes harder and the zombies harder for the player. So I wonder if that is kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I, most of the 4v1 games, I, I don't... 
they, they find them very interesting. The, um, the, 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 there's one or two which are really good, but I don't play with people usually. So I, like for me, there would be. Hopefully, I can play maybe with people like Azamain and uh, Fear and stuff like that, and get a team together. But yeah, it, yeah, I hope it's actually tower defense, proper tower defense. It has the label tower defense on it. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Am I a bit concerned that it's literally seven days to die engine? Yeah, because the performance is absolute ass in seven days to die. So, um, there's a bit of a concern, but um, definitely gonna keep an eye on that. Looks interesting. Yeah, another ten plus EA. Yeah, it's a it's a four v one. It's interesting, but yeah, I don't know if out of all the genres to go into a four v one, I think I think that's also like the battle royale. It's just very saturated. So let's go. I think we have to go downstairs. Um, that's what the um, where we have to get the. Uh, item I think it's down here somewhere oh yes we have to go up first to open the gate that's right there's somewhere a switch that is right I've always been fond of birds, glider, okay. Inspiration for glider, very good. Oh, okay. What do we have here? There we go. Oh, there was the door, and there's the chest. Level 11 weapon. Oh, man. Can't wait to... F oh, okay, yeah. How do we get out here? It was actually right there around the corner. I thought it was my door banging, uh, my, my dog banging against my door. Um, it's just my daughter getting a drink. Why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> Why is there a button to open the other door if this door stays open? This is so confusing. So we got the mortar now, which is great. So now the next thing we have to do is get um, let's see. the spindle there. Yeah. Okay. So let's go across there. Um, hey, so how you hopefully will add to your account how you got it. What do you mean? 
um yeah you have a good point you know uh not buying from uh, a company a game that is still in early access the only reason why i would make an exception with the fun pims is because i think the early access tag at this stage is just a joke yeah um the game is as complete as the majority of games these days yeah there's nothing i mean look at no man's sky no man's sky i don't think no man's sky is in early access anymore is it um no Man's Sky is basically fully released, yeah, I think. Yeah, so if you look at No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky is not in early access and it still releases every few months a complete massive update, yeah. To me, this is what Seven Days to Die is. End of story, yeah. They, they literally, I don't think they have any business being having an early access tag. Their game is not a early access anymore. They, they can do what they want. It's not early access, yeah? And um, they can call it beta, alpha, zeta, I don't care. Yeah, their game is an absolute complete game and it has been complete since alpha 17. Um, it ha does the game have end game missing? Yeah, absolutely. But look at, look at No Man's Sky after it came out, yeah? It keeps adding and adding and building on top. There is nothing wrong with a game coming out feeling complete that you can play it for 45, 50 hours, 100 hours. I played Seven Days to Die for 5,000 hours. For all intents and purposes, it, it's a complete game. It's not an early access game by any stretch of the imagination at this stage. Absolutely not. So, um, and there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. Um, so that's why, why, why for me that would be the only exception why I would still buy a game from them, if they, because they're just gonna release another game which is basically um, feels very quickly complete most likely. But if they come out early access now with the second game and it feels worse than Enshrouded from the way it's complete, that would be absolutely horrifically terrible, because they have all the money in the world to make a game that doesn't even need to be in early access. The, the, their second game should not even need to be in early access financially, yeah? So for them to do that, they better come out into early access with a game that feels 80% complete. Because if they do what Subnautica did, with Subnautica 2 coming out with some skeleton of a game, that's it. I, 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 w I will remove it from my wish list. I will wait until it comes out. Because this is a this is something I'm getting a bit fed up with with people who have money come out with early access games which are in a worse state than an indie game coming to early access made by one person. That is an absolute unexcusable situation. So their game better come out feeling extremely complete for early access. Because they have the money, to be honest, to do it. I think they could at this stage hire a team of 20 developers like and let that work separately on that game. There's the mortar. Okay, so what do I need? Sulfur. Oh, I don't have sulfur. I don't have sand. And I trade. That's all new stuff. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yes, we can make big potions now as well. But we need the mortar for it. Okay. You, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that as an insulting thing. So if they come out, if this game is like something they think could be cool, but they have no roadmap for it, no plan for it, that is that would be absolutely awful. That would be terrible. Because they they have literally financially the the ability to to completely make a new game by themselves without ever coming to early access and releasing it fully out. Um Yeah, we need to sleep. Oh, yeah, it's morning. Okay, so let's head over there and um, get... Oh, we actually have the mortar here. I didn't realize we had it in our inventory already. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> it looks so big when you see it like this. And it's like, oh, my God, how gigantic is it? Um, okay. Oh, I just need it in the vicinity. Okay, it's one of those things that just needs to exist, I guess. Okay. And now we can make big boy health potions, but they need chamomile, which we... Oof, okay. 
Shroud Survival Flasks. And there is some other new things. Fireball 2. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let me see. There we go. Healer set. Oh, that looks nice. Mage set. Okay, so do, when do we get our warrior set? Yes, we definitely need a table saw. Thank you. Um, linen is probably made from the spindle, so we have to get the... Oh, storage. Yes. This is... <laughs> I know the carpenter is the reason that we unlocked him, yeah, but this is another thing in this game I hope they're gonna change, yeah. I can make all the storage here, <laughs> but then I need to talk to a different guy to make different to make the same storage just bigger. Why can't they just make it part of the workbench and you have it unlocked because you have the carpenter? So the carpenter in this case acts like a mortar because we have the carpenter placed down, we have access to the next higher level storage chest. Like, uh, I don't know. I know in RP terms, this is more immersive, you know, but I also think it adds a lot of noise for no reason other than adding noise. It, there's no need for it. Absolutely no need. So, okay, anyway, it's good to know that we have the quest now for the table saw. Where is that? Oh, that's like way over there. Okay. So we have to go here and then zoom, 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 zoom this way. Okay. Yeah, let's empty our bags first and then um, go. Seven days to lie. <laughs> so yeah, it was the f I would give the fun. F I would cut the fun pimps a lot of slack because uh, uh, they they are trying their best with seven days to die and all that. But if they're using the same engine on the new game, I would definitely be weary about performance. And uh... okay, Gee, Mac, can you just go into the white chest? There we go. Um, now this one here, I was curious. That's 26 damage. Is that a single or a 200? I think it's a, it's a 100. Let me see. It is. Yes. Nice. So this might be stronger after we upgrade it then. Let me see. 28, level 12. Mm. It's just weaker. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. But there you go. We can see now weapons coming in. If we find um, a legendary level 11, that's going to be a level 16 or something after we upgrade it. That's going to be amazing. Um, also, the nails were here. Um, ember. Um, let's put ember here, I guess. And um, we have more arrows. Oh, nice. These are copper arrows and poison arrows. Poison arrows might actually be worth to investigate. Because 14 damage and poison, which means there's a tick. That would be pretty sweet. So I think that would help us a lot with the big boys in the game, with the bosses. Um, no, no, I get you, Azamain, but like I said, uh, uh, I explained why for me Seven Days to Die will always be different because to me Seven Days to Die was, was out of early access since Alpha 16. The, that label means nothing on the store page, absolutely nothing. I don't know why it even exists. <laughs> it literally should not even be there anymore. Not because of time, it's just because... F it literally is not an early access title anymore. Like, 
No Man's Sky is more of an early access title than that. Um, okay, we have the big boys here, and we might actually get rid of all the spells because I'm not going to use them anyway, and we can craft them when we need them. Um, yeah, we're just going to get rid of them. And we're just going to put that in here because that is actually a nice buff item as well. Okay, good. Empty empty house, empty everything. Um, and let's go. Yeah, we have to get up there somehow. I think we can get up here. There we go. Okay, let's go here first so we can explore the area a bit and then see if we can put a fast travel point down there. Is this going to be a good farming location? There's some mobs. Okay, what level are they? Because then we have a chance of getting some weapons. Uh, they're only level 9.
We're nearly level 11 now. Very nice, we're getting very close. Where's the spindle? Oh, we have to go up here now? Okay. Let's go... Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. Is that a flint mine? Yeah. No mead, are you kidding me? We got two mead. Would have been nice to get like five, six mead. Okay, so before I do anything else, a pickaxe deals more damage against stone objects. So we're gonna do this first. And then the next two points we're gonna spend. Oh, this is four points. Ah, oh, flip. When you mine resources, you have a 10% chance to get additional resources. Yeah, so these two are very important, and this as well. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to invest points into that. So I think damage we're doing okay, we just need new weapons. Murdering puppies, they're not puppies! They're murderous wolves. Oh, we went way past the point of, re of no return. They're like, they cry like puppies. <laughs> yeah, that's them wanting you to feel sorry for them so they can bite your juggler then. They want you to get temporarily distracted. Am I going the right way? No, I'm so not. Huh. 
Oh, it's this little thing here. Okay. I have no sense of direction, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Okay, what are we doing here? There's nothing here. What are we doing here? I don't understand. Don't get it. What? Oh, oh, it's in a tent. I thought it was in the tower. Where is it? Is it in here? Oh, what is the ring? Ugh, one stamina. That's worse than what I'm wearing. Fine. I only keep them because I want to see if, we, if they eventually add melting down stuff. Okay, now where do we have to go? Oh my god, it's gonna be so much further now, isn't it? Okay, so now we have to go up there anyway, I guess. Um, so let's have a look at the table saw. That's up here. We have to go to the hunting grounds. Okay, good. We'll go right back there. Okay, good. There's a house nearby. We hopefully get some comfort levels. Actually, let's just go home for the comfort levels. Screw that. And then we come back here and then we're off and um, get the... You're not nowhere near that bad. <laughs> no, but seriously, like even driving from from my house to my daughter's school when we when we moved here, I it took me so many times to drive before I stopped getting lost. Even coming back into my own estate, I took wrong turns because to me every house looks the same. Everything looks the same. I went shipping with the wife and uh, the mother's-in-law woman. It'll ask you need bags or reply no. Bring two with me. What? The um. Let me see. Yeah, let's put the ring away. I don't know what to do with this ring, to be honest. Uh, Shit, that is not what is supposed to happen. Okay, we have linen. Yeah, I actually have to stop picking up linen. I have so much, but you know what? They will. I will pay. Uh, this will actually be good because there will be a recipe now for the linen with the spindle, where we're probably going to use the cloth, and then we're going to be happy because it's going to take probably ten cloth per craft or some nonsense like that, and then we're going to be happy. That we have so many things, you know? Um, where's the flowers here? They're probably down here, some of them. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Um, raw wolf meat, we can cook that here. Okay, put it in here. Come on, don't be such a douche canoe. True story. What is shipping? What is going shipping? I don't understand going shipping. Did you ship yourself? 
by Parcel Express. Oh, shopping. Jesus. I'm sorry. You went shopping. <laughs> I said, no. Um, very good. I was like, what are you saying? Shipping. I thought you were talking about a ship or something. I, I'm just an idiot. Sorry. I'm just, I just have one eye on the chat and the other one trying to figure out what I have to do here. I apologize. And he lived. Yes. <laughs> Any encounter with the in-laws is always... Uh, any encounter, uh, sorry, any encounter with the in-laws that you survive is always a story that is worth uh, telling, in my opinion. So let's actually see what we have to do here. What is this? Um, okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, we want to eat. And we want this. Zoom, zoom, zoomy, zoom. We have to kill so many of those stupid flowers. Not these ones, the blue ones. Oh, man. I think we're just going to kill them with arrows, to be honest. Um, ooh, always pick up these guys here. Got some shroud liquid. That's how we make magic chests, at least the small ones. What is the big ones made from? Shroud cores, yeah. And shroud cores, um, medium chest is wood planks and nails, metal sheets, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And goo and shroud cores is made from. Shroud cores are made from shroud spores, 10 of them, and shroud uh, liquid. And shroud spores, the only way you can get them is um, killing monsters in the shroud. And oh, yeah, we want to pick up these mushrooms as well while we can. It's all the new stuff we have to pick up. have so many of them actually they give us a lot so maybe we need them for some craft at some point where we need tons of them and then i'm glad i have them see i'm such a hoarder mentality i'm such a terrible hoarder maybe at some point we need them so we better not waste them i'm not even going to be asked close combating that yes we need about 10 more of those What, is, what do we have here? A well? To get water? Okay. I think what they're gonna have to do is when you do a jump attack, they're gonna temporarily have to move a body collision until you finish landing. I think they're gonna have to do that. Or they're gonna have to make it do it in a way that no matter where you land, even if you land exactly on top of another character, that character immediately is moved away to the side beside you. I think if we follow the road, we might actually get where we need to go. It looks promising. Ooh. Is that a fork in the road? No, we go up here. Oh, no. Oh, maybe we have to go this way. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Maybe that's where we have to go.
Why did I put a custom marker there? I put it in there for a reason. What was the reason? Oh, it was a mine. Yeah, so seeing that mining is a thing, um, I still question the logic of how, how is the mining symbol not one of the markers? You're creating a survival game with gathering, mining, and combat. And yet, I can see none of those three symbols on this. That makes So whoever created that map and the symbols obviously was completely disconnected and was not told what type of game they're making this for. <laughs> like... What? They yeah, just got a guy from Fiverr saying, hey, we need a map interface, you know, to put markers on a map. Don't ask any follow-up questions. Okay. <laughs> or or let, let, let us label the markers. Yeah, I mean, I can understand because of... Con you see, this is one thing that is always a bit awkward. Yeah, you have... Um, Con this game is also, I think, played on console or at least with a controller support. So there's certain limitations. You can't have something where you can just put a custom marker in and write text, yeah? Because that would be completely unusable by the controllers. But there's nothing wrong with you not being able to give it custom text with a controller and just use a, use an icon. But if I'm on, the, if I have a keyboard, Oh, okay. You okay there? You're walking backwards. But if you have a keyboard, you just have the added benefit of being also able to write. And then you have two choices on the key on the controller. Either give the option to have like some pop-up thing where you can type, which would be probably annoying. I don't know. Depends how it's implemented. Or um, just don't let people with a controller do it. So if I play on a PC with a controller, I just have to switch to the keyboard, you know, and do it. Simple as that. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you... Uh, you know, you know, if you don't offer that feature at all with a controller, that's okay as well. Oh, there's a cave over there. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go there. Yes, I want to. Ooh, what is this? Oh, shroud territory. Let's see if we have to go in there. I hope, I hope not. This is like a big crack. But I hope that we can just go over here somehow. I need some stone now in a minute. Yeah, but what I'm saying is even if they would not give you the option to type in with a virtual keyboard, that's still okay because you still have icons. And, um, you know, I'm just saying, it, it, there's no, there's, I suppose my point is there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a UI which is slightly different uh, with a controller than it is when you have a keyboard available. Um, because these whole Unicism UIs uh, for both, they always make keyboard work feel so terrible. Like, uh, like the lack on a PC, sorry, PC always feels so terrible if you're limited because of a controller okay this is getting a bit creepy oof is this a well eternity well that would be awesome Ooh, i might actually just jump in there This is, we're gonna end up in a dead end here. Hazelnuts? <gasps> oh. Okay, yeah, uh, I think we're gonna have to go somewhere here. I think we have to go back and around. Okay. 
Okay, Eternity Well at this level would be good because it means a potential of a good new legendary weapon. So why don't we go down here? Oh yeah, specifically here. That is nice. And we're gonna pop a tra fast travel point here. That way we are close to the crack. We're close to the Eternity Well here. If there is one, I think it is one. So let's do it. Just in case we die, I don't want to lose this. So let's do a very quick um, jump home. Oh, what do you have? Oh, let's plant a seed. Oh, let's plant a seed. Genie, Mark, you have a very straightforward way to ask a guy out on a date. Okay. Stay safe, friend. Okay. Plant a seed, stay safe. I know what she's talking about. No mystery to me. Okay, hang on a second. Um, I think I have food here. Tarberries, That's not one. Where's my. There we go. And where's my shrouds, actually? Are they in there? Where's my shroud? Oh, right here. Oof. Okay. Let's go repair. Now we're gonna pop into that eternity well. I, th I think we might have to wait until next stream to get the um, the carpenter stuff and all that because it's, it's a long track. It looks like we're gonna have to potentially, okay, that was weird. Um, it looks like we potentially have to either walk all the way around here or all the way around here because there's no way through, but that's okay. Yeah, without labels, you're limited by icons. Yeah, it's it's kind. Of, I like that in Seven Days to Die when you can take to put things down like your with the letters, with the words, and you know. This looks like a well. Yes. Oh crap! And we already went down. <laughs> okay, we went straight down. Like, no hesitation. Screw that. Yeah, no problem. Oh my god, this will be such a great farmable area if we actually strong enough for this. Where is the red shroud bloom? Where's the bloom? All I care about is the bloom. So what's the quickest way to the boss here? Oof, okay. He has a shield. Okay. I have my shield up, you asshat! Oh, my right mouse button is fucked again! Okay, this is terrible. Okay. 
This guy is just not budging. Okay, can you like fuck off? Oh my god. You piece of shit. And he doesn't even have good loot. Oh, these bloody plants. Okay. Wow. This is hardcore, this guy. I have to deal with him somehow. Let me see. Okay, let's put a bandage on. Let's not waste all our healing items. And let's get this little git from over here. Nice. Okay. Maybe rushing is not a good idea, but we need to still find the quickest way. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Ah, bollocks. You stupid mushrooms. Um, is this death or can we jump across? Let's see. Okay, it probably is death. Got some scrappy sword. Get some. So no chest, no weapon, no nothing. I mean, there has to be a chest somewhere here. That that just would be an absolute awful well. Yeah, let's save the points up and get this first and then probably this along the way. Um, it has to be... I mean, this is where the shroud was. Surely there has to be a chest somewhere here. Oh my god, I really hope there is. That's not a... No, that is a shitty chest. Where's the proper chest? Wow. Where is the big boy chest here?
That is a really shitty well. If there's no big chest here. Oh shit, okay. Um, almighty good night. Oh, there's another common chest. Mm. And that's where the entrance is. Okay, let's go all the way around normally now that we don't have the shroud pressure and see if there's a, a silver chest somewhere with a good weapon. <coughs> <coughs> so, excuse me. So each, each elixir well, I keep calling them eternity wells, I don't know why. Each elixir well usually has either a boss that drops legendary loot or it has a silver chest with legendary, with, well, with a weapon that can be legendary. Oh, there's a silver chest here. Seriously? Like, not even a purple? Like, Jesus, how cheap ass is this run? Okay, that sucks, donkey balls, big time. extra chest here so this is not even the path to the to the boss to the shroud oh it is this is where the shroud is yeah okay that is terrible So theoretically, if you go in here again, it's not even worth fighting the the thing because of drops. You just do it to get to be able to teleport back out. You just go to the silver chest in the beginning here, and that's pretty much it. Unless there's something further up here. 
Oh, there we go. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now we get our ass kicked more. Okay, so that that's better. Okay, yeah, that's better. So we have a silver chest and gold chest now. Let's see what we get. Jesus Christ. Wizard boots. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, I think we're gonna have to farm this one for possible drops. Mm, okay. Yeah, same here, Jen. Uh, so what I started doing with the shroud is um, always follow the road and eventually you just kind of know how far to go and the map is not too bad actually helping you like one of the worst moments ahead is this one here i got into the shroud here went in and then i walk, walked underneath here and i'm like shit i'm lost yeah but then i saw an elixir well so i was like great the elixir wells they have um on the top always a, a, bo a, a ball that you can get all your your shroud timer back yeah and you can't fast travel from it but it gives you a chance to get it back and then you just kill the the well boss and then you can fast travel again so so it seems that this goes under not here okay so if i go oh i can't fast travel because oh i'm actually in the shot sorry there we go so now if we do this Now, this is a challenge now because um, this is the elixir well now that I need to grind for better weapons. Uh, see you later, Stuart. Thank you so much for popping in. Cheap ass browser game on the second screen. My <laughs> pleasure. Um, okay. Yeah, we need more healing potions. Uh, oh, we have five of them now. Excellent. Um, I think we need a ten or something for whatever it was we were crafting. Yeah, I think we don't have to pick up any more of those critter things for a while. Um, where did I put the shroud things? Potions are here. Arrows um, are here. Yeah, where did I put those shroud things? I put them here somewhere. There, nine. Okay, we have nine. So what you do now is you um, stay here, get your warm, get everything run. Then um, you lock off, go right back in, and that resets the well. And that is the well that we need to farm for a good one-handed weapon now. Um, yeah. So it's morning, perfect. We do all the repairs, perfect. And we get some meat, get some drink, get a little bit of extra power into us and the extra timer and we're fully charged now. Let's go. Um, okay, remember where it was. 
Was that the one? Ah, uh, I think I went to the wrong one. Yeah, of course I did. Um, I found flax, yeah. I, I need to, but I need the machines to make most of it. Yeah, I should probably cry, uh, do, I think next stream we're going to focus on, on building some rooms and stuff like that. And... Go. Get the timer back up. Let's head down. We theoretically could go the reverse way. I wonder if that would work. Yeah, we should be able to go the reverse way. The shields don't work actually with that thing. Fuck you. We have to be a bit more tactical here somehow, but I think if we go from here, we can get to the chest. Where's the golden chest? here to the left. Here's the chest. So I think now, let's see what happens if we just log off. Nice. And that is a level 11. And that will be more powerful than what we have here. Excellent. So now we can go back here. And that's how we can quick farm the chest. Yeah, the magic thing is very hard in the beginning. Yeah, but I think... Uh, Everybody plays so, plays basically acid mage, yeah, just acid and fire, where you just everybody comes in, you collect them, and then you just go boom, yeah, and that's it. So it's, um, yeah, it's I don't know, I, I because I see every single person playing that style, I just wanted to play warrior instead. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's other people playing warrior. I just the majority of people I see just play wizard and whatever it is mage. 
So let's upgrade this bow and see how much stronger it is. Okay, so this is 17 and it does a lot more damage. So what we do now is we're going to equip that and pow. There we go. And now we just need to find a legendary version of it. Yeah, we have the wolf snarl one which eats stamina. So. Oh shit, bug. When you press the wrong button. Oh, a shroud core? That's nice. I probably should have that with the other cores. There we go. Okay, now. Oh my god, just open the right chest. There we go, we have 12 now, so we need a 10 of them. So, and now what we can do is just simply go back and do it again. There you go. Um... So if we can cheese it straight to the gold chest, we can keep opening the gold chest and um, no. have to hide here first mother of tits oh my god give me a break Pieces of shit garbage. You absolute garbage combination of bullshit. What a piece of crap. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to find a way of pulling that creeping creeper screecher. That screecher is the biggest pain in the ass mob that was ever invented in this game. I don't know why I keep picking them up. Fuck off. Go away. Die. 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 Just die. Okay, don't exist. I don't know where I'm going here. Crap. You see, now I lost my way because these guys confuzzled me.
Yeah, we have to craft loads and loads of potions, so we have to make sure we put the farming stuff in place for that. If we can get a purple sword or a purple one-handed mace, that would be great. Ooh, what is that? A noble sword increases health regeneration by one. That is amazing. So this one does 29 damage. This one will do hopefully 30 damage. It doesn't feel like it's that much more, but hopefully it will be. Yeah, those are a pain, yeah. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the bugs by themselves I don't have an issue with, but when you have the bugs and you have something you can only shoot with arrows, but the bugs you have to fight with a sword, I still think that you have to use... A a ranged weapon against this stupid spirit is the worst design possible because every single enemy should have been, should be able to be fought with melee properly and it's just terrible and we actually should always pick up these as well i guess and uh, might as well get a little bit of play before we go home lumps of clay nice This is so satisfying. There we go. Oh. oh yeah, that is so hitting the spot right now. Okay, um back home and upgrade that sword how much are the zombies paying me to not kill them they pay me in terrible games <laughs> if, if they would pay me in better games then uh, I, I would not ignore them as much um, all items are repaired so let's actually see if um, what we're gonna get out of this 32 damage and an extra recharge that is such it's it's kind of depressing in a way that it only does three more damage <laughs> oh, man it's so depressing it's so depressing yeah i i really they need to definitely do an overhaul on this Okay, so I think we got pretty much as much upgraded as possible. So what do we need for making potions? I think next time what we're going to do before we do anything else is what do we need for this? What do we need to farm? Um, for the normal health potions, we they only heal 200, which is actually 50% of my health still. So they're still valid. We need mushrooms, purple berries. Water is easy because water, you can just go to a well up there and just keep pressing the button. You get 15 water, then it dries out. So you just restart the game and you get another 15 water. So it's not the end of the world. Um, we have a berry bush here and we have a berry bush here. So that should be enough. And I have already done seedlings for be for the mushrooms. Um, I think I did 20 seedlings here. Let me see. Yeah, seedlings here, 20 seedlings. So now we have these guys here as well. Uh, put these here. We have the lump of clay stone and shroud sacks. Yeah, awesome. Okay. And then we have the cloth here. Okay, so 
the next thing is to get um, these guys uh, set up. We need the farm set up to do everything for the potions we need, especially Kamaline. We need to go and explore a little bit more here. That's where I found one Kamaline. Kamaline? Kamaline? <laughs> so... The table saw is here. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get there. It looks like we might have to go all the way around here. Oh, maybe we can just go from here. And walk across. It looks like a valid uh, path. And um, in my spare time in between streams, I'm just going to run this elixir well a couple of more times. And, um, yeah, sort that out. So we need some basic potions, actually. Okay. Glad to help. Do these berry bushes have to be planted on, um... on soil or can they just be planted? I mean, they're bushes. Can they just be planted out here? They should grow, should they not? I mean, let's put one bush here and see. Let's put just one bush right here. Repot. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they won't grow there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. Um, with the farm, we're gonna set up something basic. We're gonna um get the rest of the tools then, and then we can do base building where we create all the crafting. They put this big crafting room. That I have in my head, we're gonna craft, we're gonna build that then. And then we can start focusing on getting resources together for the next tier of health potions, things like that, and the next tier of um, arrows as well. I'm gonna have to see these arrows, they probably unlock when we get the other, whatchamacallit, when we get the table saw and all that, and the other tools, then we most likely unlock the other arrows. And when we unlock linen, we probably get a bigger backpack as well. And I need better armor. My armor is okay, but I definitely need better. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, a second level, what do you mean? Uh, a second level. Oh, you mean going down? Oh, yeah, yeah, so we could, what we could do is we could start experimenting with um, uh, actually building up. So we could uh, make a corridor here that becomes a stairwell um, up to the next higher tier. And then our crafting room could actually be on the top floor with a nice balcony around it on the outside. That might actually be looking nice. So that, that could look nice. And the basement is a kind of a nice idea, but um, I think, as we saw last time, the basement, you have to really do some cheaty stuff in the moment. Um, so we, we will do a basement eventually again, just for giggles, you know. Um, I don't know what we're going to put in it, though, because um, I think having um, a second tier going up would be nice. And we can change the roof as well, then, you know. Um, we can change the roof as well, then um, we can take it back down because you get all the resources back, so that's fine. And um, could make this a flat roof here or something. We'll see. Anyway, looks really nice. I like the way this all comes together with the base. And then we can... Uh, I keep it all wood in the moment because wood is something I can get easier than stone um, right now because I just chop a couple of trees and we can make thousands of blocks, but... Um, we at some point have to sit down and do a huge grind for resources to build a big base. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to keep that, kick that like button in the balls. And I see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.